Right, this is Iris. Hi. What a great name, love that name. So we've got Iris today, who is new to YouTube, aren't you? But you're not, yeah. new, not new to driving. No. Um, you've done, what have we done? About 20 hours now, yeah. something like that, haven't we? Very good for the hours. So if you're a newer driving instructor, Iris is a higher standard than you'd probably expect out of those 20 hours. Um, and part of the reason is you are just very good, actually, aren't you? You pick things up really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> but you do a lot of driving as well, don't mm. you, in your own time. How often do you drive your car? I go out like two or three times a week with my dad. Yeah, so makes a massive For difference. For like a couple hours each time as well. Can you appreciate the benefit that's given you? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. I mean, from my point of view, I watch it and I just think, God, yeah, lovely. <laughs> um, so last lesson, we did right turns at lights, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, which is a very common area that learners struggle on to start with. Yeah. But you actually, again, as kind of, I kind of was hoping you, you picked it up pretty, pretty quickly. Yeah. We started on the three lane ones, then we made it harder by going to the two lane ones, and then we just finished on the one lane one, wasn't it? Yeah. And um, you didn't feel as comfortable on that one, did no, you? No, I just wanted to go over it again, <laughs> just make sure that I actually knew what I was doing. Absolutely. But you're happy with the principle essentially of the right turn of lights, aren't you? Yeah. Was it, um, just remind me, it was positioning, wasn't the it? Positioning of being in the road. Happy because with when that. we did it, I could go. But I, need, I want to know what to do if I can't. If, if you can't, yeah. happy with that, brilliant. Without being in anyone's way. Absolutely. Um, so, we'll, let's set that as the goal, yeah. that we're going to position at the one lane right turn okay. without being in anyone's way as much as we can avoid it, okay? And the Highway Code provides us a little bit of information on that. So, to that end, if we were to pull forward and we were maybe a little bit unsure of like how far forward to pull. Mm -hmm. Can you think of any factors you'd need to consider in determining how far forward you should pull? Where uh, the space in the road? Absolutely. For who? Well, for the people to be able to get past. Brilliant. Which people? Uh, coming on each side. Yeah, they'll be on red, won't they? Oh yeah. So That's the ones it. coming. So the ones coming towards, towards you. Towards that are going to go the way that I just. Good, yeah. So we're possibly not angling on the, yeah. the very, very small one that we've got. Great. So we wouldn't want to angle because we would actually... Remember on the three-lane one, we could angle? Yeah. And that served us some advantages, didn't it? Um, on the one-lane one, if we angle, we'll be in people's way. What about the people behind us? Do we need to consider them at all? Uh what way they're so if, going yeah excellent so if i was turning left and this cash car stopped there can you yeah. see i wouldn't be able to complete my yeah. turn and that's a one lane traffic light that we now need to consider that don't yeah. we and the highway code does say that so it says um you know if possible pull forward far enough to allow other vehicles to, to, to turn to okay. pass you absolutely yeah. um the ones of in front are you happy you need to consider them possibly going this way as well across us yeah so if we pull too far forward we would block people doing that and if we don't pull far enough forward we might block people behind us which would you say though is less important to block if so if you had to block one of those would you rather block the people behind you or the people in front of you people behind 100 percent happy with that so it's yeah. only if you have the room to do so can you bear that in mind when you do it yeah excellent so we've got our goal how are you going to achieve that goal? Do you want any help with it? Yeah, if you just give some like prompts on where the car should be. Perfect, yeah, absolutely. We can do that, we can do some. You've got what? traffic control up ahead, if you can see that. Yeah. Are you happy to respond to all of that? Yeah. Nice. There it goes. How exciting. Can you see the stop sign? Did that just spin by yeah. itself? Yeah, it's on a little, can you see a little motor underneath it? And it'll be on a timer. Yeah. Go a little bit further. There's no sign telling you where to stop. This is such an awful place. It is, isn't it? I've never seen a stop sign move like that. Very exciting, wasn't it? Oh, lovely. There you go. What, oh, yours is still stopped there, yeah? Oh, yeah. And then now, how about oh, that? Yeah. Oh, like first. Check before you go. Yeah, so it just stops the other train. It's like a normal traffic light will do that. It'll go red the other side and, and then, of course, off. a bit of a delay. Brilliant. Okie dokie. Maybe a left mirror there. Can you go right at the lights, please? Yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Oh yeah, good time signal, that would be fine for us. Ooh. You got it. Are you happy with this? Yeah. You got it. Can you see their tyres? No. Okay, take your time. Make sure when you stop this time, if you do, you can see their tyres. Wonderful. Stopping or going? Go. Well done, well done. Excellent, did that feel okay? Yeah. And if the light had gone red in front of you, mm. what would you have been prepared to then do? Go. Good. As long as you're happy, of course, it's clear. Brilliant, if you'd have been, had two cars in front of you, would yeah. you have joined them in the middle? No. Great. So happy with the three lane one, refreshed very nicely there. Yeah. That was all really good. Um, are you happy to go on to the one lane one? Let's see what we can find there. Iris, here we go. Let you know. Dee 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 dee. Now they're doing really well, this is good. If you want to go slower, consider the clutch again. That's, that's worked well, that. That's good. Wonderful, left at the end. And your goal is to think about the gear. Did I get the card? No, you didn't. Oh, I just felt bumpy. Good, and didn't affect the silver car either. Good. Come on. Just, just be very careful. I think you're okay. Yeah. But when you look up that road, would you agree you only actually see a few meters? Yeah. And you, you might just want to take a tiny bit more caution okay. to just get further forward and, yeah. and see up the road because they have a really good view and they fly okay. quite quickly. Okay. But other than that, I'm, I'm happy there. Can we go right at the lights this time? So we're now looking at your goal of the positioning and you're happy I'll give you a little bit of prompting if we need to. Yeah. So no one behind us. So we don't need to consider them at the moment. Can you put your right signal on? Lovely. If you keep going forward, and both of those look like they're turning right, just keep straight. And now we're past the line, lights going red, so we check and go. We're never gonna have to stop here, aren't oh, we? No. That's the problem. <laughs> Could we could we do it one more and yeah. then could we could you if we don't have to stop could you say I would stop here okay. would that make sense and yeah. then I would I'll say to you if that's okay or not and yeah. if we do have to stop I'll help give you a little bit of prompting to actually stop the car is that okay yeah okay far enough forward that line yeah I think that's a really good one just before it maybe yeah. could we go with that yeah I'm gonna leave that with you. You want to try and pull forward to help these cars behind you as well, yeah. okay? Would you sit without the bike? No. Good. Take your time, take your time. Gas. Good. And then stop. Good. Good. We're ready. Check. That's it. Well done. Yeah. How'd that feel, all right? Yeah. That was and good. brilliant. Now, the best thing you can do. How do you know you've pulled far enough forward for the cars Those behind you? could go. They're going, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. So as soon as they can go, would you agree you have pulled far enough forward? Yeah. How'd that feel? All right. Mm. Yes. Right, Irish. Should we go and try something else then? Yes. Anything you want, you can think of that you want to develop as your next need? No. Could we try a harder right turn at lights? Yeah. Okay, so we're coming up to the lights where we're going to turn right. Uh -huh. um, a lot of my learners find this one a little bit more tricky. Okay. Um, are you happy to give it a go on your own? Yeah. Nice. Why are there so many swans? There is loads. It's like 20. Is it? I'm terrified of them. Yeah. <laughs> swans? I'm not terrified of birds. Geese that get me though. But yeah, I got chased by a geese yeah. in this park not a few weeks ago. Geese are vicious, isn't they? Nice, good signal time. Do, 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 do. La 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 la. Oh shit. Oh no. Now you're good. 
would that have been an interesting one, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, can you fail a driving test, or should you fail a driving test for going through an amber light? Uh, no. Just slightly in the cycle path, be aware. Oh. That's it. Yeah, good check. Um, no, absolutely. And did you go through an amber or a red light? Well, it went red, but I was like in the middle. Uh, yeah, happy. So, so when, I don't know so if I when, could stop there or not. So when you being... crossed the line, yeah. what colour would, had the light just turned? Red. Had it? Had it? I don't uh, know. It, if it had, you'd have failed your test. Oh. Okay. Um, if it had, I'd be putting the brake on. Yeah. Okay. But actually, you, so the light, if you look at this one, you yeah. were about here and yeah. it went amber. Okay. So you were very close to the line. Yeah. Okay. There was nothing behind you. Yeah. So it would have been safe to stop. Okay. But all I want you to do is keep making those decisions. Yeah. You made the decision to keep going. Yeah. And the best part was, in the middle, you then did what you should have done, which was keep going. Yeah. You can't be stopping in the middle, can you? No. That was good. Um, okay. So pretty good. So I think you could have stopped, but I like the decision that you made, OK? This is a very tall hill. It is, isn't it? Wonderful. When you approach the light, were you thinking of it changing? No. No, it's hard, isn't it? Yeah. And it's, it's a bit like anything in life. If we're not thinking about it happening, it will surprise us. And then we don't always react the way we should. Yeah. So like, think about this light going back to green. It could go, couldn't it? There you go. There's your gearing down. There's your first gear. There's the light. And you're ready. Brilliant. Now, if you'd have just been thinking, oh, it's a red light, I need to start. I would have gone down to first. 100%. Straight away. Yeah, there you go. So that's all, all it is is experience. Yeah, doing really well there. Don't go third. Why not? I don't know. Steep hill? Yeah. And that would have, what would have happened if you would have gone slowed down? Hill? Yeah, massively. Um, and the revs should be high going uphill. Yeah. We need quite a lot of power in the engine. Good, well done. Right over to Styris. What are you happy with today? I'm happy with the right turn, single lane. Right turn, light, single lane, perfect. Um, if you were to have that on your test, do you feel you would be pretty happy doing yeah. what you need to do, no matter how busy it is? Brilliant. Yes. Cool, um, and the, all the other right turns that you've done today have been really good, haven't they, as yeah. well? I think it's a really good one we did towards the end, mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter about should you have stopped it. Amber light, yeah. I want you to understand the meaning fully, which I believe you do, don't yeah. you? What does it mean? Stop, like, if it's safe to do so. Basically, not carry absolutely, on. Absolutely, yeah. Now, because there was no one behind you, because you were quite slow, mm -hmm. it was safe to, to, um, to stop. You hadn't crossed the line yet. That's the other yeah. part of the meaning, isn't it? Um, so the way an examiner marks it on a driving test is they look at it, and if they would have stopped, they would then give you a driving fault. Because okay. you didn't go for a red light, they can't give you a serious fault. And it's not, it's not fair if they, if they did. Yeah. Um, so you would at most get a driving fault. I think okay. you were very close to the line. I don't think you'd... The dash cam actually, annoyingly, when you I've watched footage back, because yeah. it's higher, mm. you look closer uh, if yeah. that makes sense, than actually yeah. from like our view. Okay. Um, so like when you watch it back on the footage, you'll probably think, oh yeah, I was quite far back, but actually yeah. it doesn't give you really the real picture. Yeah. Uh, you were very close and you yeah. made the decision to keep going. Yeah. If I was the examiner, I wouldn't even give you a driving fault then. Okay. Uh, you Because of how close you were to it. Yeah. Uh, and then what I was more pleased with was in the middle, you made the correct decision that you must just, yeah. must just keep going. So we're definitely happy with right turn of lights. That looks pretty good. Is there anything else you were happy with today? Um, putting your foot down on the <laughs> gas. She's got to make the noise. She has got to make the noise. I'm going to put, yeah, got to make the noise. Is that the only thing, do you think, in terms of the noise was what you sort of identified as the thing stopping you almost, is um, not? Yeah. Do you think that's the only it. thing, or...? Um, well, I was... Well, because I kept on lifting the clutch and then not putting the gas on, like, at the same time. Yeah. I was doing it, like, afterwards. Yeah. So now I'm going to try and change that. Perfect. Happy with that. Um, 
would it make sense if I uh, but don't wait until after the bite for gas yeah yeah ooh, ooh, ooh. when the day is over wonderful anything else you're happy with Staying in the left lane. Love it, right. but yeah, just watch the yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Good. Whenever people are braking, we never truly know what it's for, do we? So we just start responding as well. Um, staying, if we can call it, would it make sense? Default position is yeah. left. Yeah, that is a rule in the highway code. Um, it says always position into left unless you are turning right or you know something at some other reason. Um, and we want you to do that because there's certain traffic lights you'll come up to, for example, and all sorts of junctions where they put the flaring in to make it possible to get more cars up to it. Yeah. If, if you are happy with that, absolutely. You know, if the left lane's looking busier than the right lane, pick the right lane, isn't it? Um, just where it starts to create problems is there's certain junctions where we might pick the right hand lane and as we come round, people want to overtake us yeah. and we're now stopping that happening. Mm. So we just want your default position here into left. But it makes sense to you, doesn't it? And um, you're starting to get actually quite good at that. Anything else you have? Here? God, there's a lot to be happy with, isn't there? I don't know. Mini roundabout? That yeah. Oh, oh. That orange roundabout. Oh, oh, oh. I'm never choosing to go down there ever <laughs> in my life. I don't think I would, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's rancid, isn't it? I mean, who built that? I thought, yeah, that would be. Yeah, do. why isn't it just the junction? <laughs> I don't know. Like, why would you put a roundabout <laughs> yeah. there? It's literally, and it's, it's a very strangely designed one, if I'm honest, isn't it? Lovely job. Nice, good stuff. Just slightly in the middle of both lanes there, could you feel? Yeah. So we'll see if on the next one we can just get a little bit more of your lane distance. Um, yeah, very much so, isn't it? But your your points to note on that where was you didn't hit the curb, that was your first goal, wasn't it? Yeah. After that, so you came out, didn't hit the curb, but you then left in second gear, didn't you? Yeah. And straight away you went, oh, that should have been first, so that yeah. made your next goal, happy days. Uh, and then we left it, but we did just say, do be careful of that last second. So mm. if I give you an example, one of my students um, a few months ago failed a driving test here yeah. in, in my car. Mm. She come up to a stop sign and didn't stop. It's okay. a stop sign. But when, when she looked right, I know what her view is. Right. Terrible, okay. right? Like literally what you were seeing at that yeah. mini roundabout. So you should stop. And she just kept going. Yeah. and. She failed, she got a serious fault for the stop sign. Yeah. But she also got a serious fault for actually junction observation, like right. emerging when you, yeah. you can't see anything. Uh, so even if she hadn't seen the stop sign, she really should have looked and gone, oh, I can't see. Now, because we do a lot of junctions and full license holders get into this habit as well, when, you, when you're kind of going left, it's very easy just to kind of check right. And, what you see is clear, so you go. Mm, and yeah, and happy. So that's that's what you've got to take in is actually, if you look that way and all you see is only a few meters, I would be stopping and I'd be trying to oh. creep forward if that makes sense. So just be aware of that one if you can. Um, but that, overall, that was really good, that roundabout. Iris, so that's all your positives. Really good, isn't it? So we did yeah. quite a lot there. Did we do anything else? No. I'm, I'm going to note your reaction to the amber. I thought it was quite good. I, I was quite happy with it. Thanks. Amber. Um, nice. We'll put you a close to line. Keep developing it, isn't it? And um, we just worked a little bit there, didn't we, on actually thinking about a green light could change and it changed the mentality slightly and when you yeah. came into that pedestrian crossing next it was a red light yeah. but we got you to think about the green and that's all you needed you were coming in gears were ready and when it changed you were ready perfectly set up ready to go weren't you okie dokie so next lesson can you think of a plan for yourself is there anything you feel you need to develop need to move on to i don't know 
Oh, no one ever knows. That's the thing. I don't blame you because I wouldn't have known. Um, can I suggest some things? So we've gone through like your core subjects, if you like, in this, and we? we've popped up to Norwich and we've, yeah. we've worked through the core subjects in terms of we're always looking at the crossings, we're doing your right turns at lights, and um, a nice logical kind of next thing to move on to would be to start moving on, moving on to like more complicated roundabouts. Yeah. For example, like the NDR. Um, okay. Have you ever driven up that way in, on your own car? I don't know. I don't think you would have. It's like yeah. if you go to North Norfolk, really. Yeah. But they're big dual carriageway, three lane massive roundabouts. And some learners find them difficult, some learners don't. So I did go on one massive roundabout by accident. The one from the A11 onto the A47. Oh, yeah, yeah, dicked on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Roger that was does. Not fun. Did you, but you're happy with spirals, aren't you? Yeah. You don't want to like. We didn't yeah, know we were yeah. going there, and then we turned up, and Dad was like, well. Hey, well, we're doing it now then. I was like, okay. Nice. Yeah. But you don't want to go and like specifically do spirals, do you? You're no. happy with it? Yeah, yeah. cool. Um, so, I mean, the NDR would be where I would look to push you. Okay. So, if you're driving very well in the city, mm -hmm. I haven't seen you drive that way, so I think, right, well, that would be the logical development. We can also start to develop a bit of your more your more dual carriageway work. I know you've been on the dual carriageway, yeah. haven't you? So it's just looking at enhancing any knowledge that's already there. Okay. Um, does that sound like a plan? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Right, Iris, that's us signing up. Into, you've got a job interview now, haven't you? Very exciting. Yeah. All the best. I hope you get the job. Thank you. And we will see you. See you next week. See you next week.